Hello, hello. Hey everyone, welcome back to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Today, uh, I just want to do a little bit of a different video of just kind of hanging out and uh, chilling with you guys. No, uh, do an OOB and kind of just show you guys how I go about um, doing my OOB and kind of the exploits and things that I use to get out of the map and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of you know that uh, the pillows that you can buy in the Dragonflight expansion from the uh, merchant are very useful toys. And uh, yeah, I just want to show you guys, uh, you know, me just doing OOB and kind of the way I get prepared for my videos and how I do them. Um, right now I am actually in Shrine of the Storm, the uh, BFA dungeon over in uh, Stormsong Valley. And uh, I was going to be doing this for a future video, but this place is just covered in death walls. It's like all around. Like you try to get out of the map, you're dead. So I'm trying to find a way where I can actually get over the mountain because um, when I had my uh, stinky bright potion on, I could actually see really far in the distance. But uh, Boralus was actually back there, the whole city, from what I could see. So I'm hoping to get past the mountains here, but anytime I fly out there, I just die. And so when I'm doing an OOB or I'm trying to prepare for a video, this is what I'll do. I'll literally just spend hours and hours inside of a dungeon trying to break out, trying to map a path where I could go and follow to show you guys the rest of the dungeon. Uh, and I'll just place my pillows down at random locations like this and then just get out of the map and uh, kind of mark my areas so I know that, okay, if I go up this way, I can get out right here. But if I go over the mountain over here and I drop down over here, I'm going to die. So just trying to mark out areas like right over here. This is all death. What's really neat, though, is they actually keep the whole crucible um, of storms raid in the back here, which is which I thought was kind of neat. Uh, I didn't I didn't know they actually did that. And um, you can barely just see inside of there on top of the mountain there. We can get on top of the mountain. OK, see another wall. And that's also what I'm dealing with. It's just walls everywhere. Um, so I'll show you guys an example, uh, is, uh, I'll go try to fly out here. Yep. And I just died right there. So that's how I really just get prepared for videos. I'll just spend time in here hanging out and just going into dungeons. I think look interesting or videos that I want to do future content on. And normally I'll try to find my own way out first. Uh, before I use someone else's method because you know, I always want to try my own strategy I don't want to copy other people if I don't have to um, And I'll always give the OOB credit to whoever I'm You know got the bounty first obviously in the videos, but like right here. There's another place you can get out and then I'll kind of just walk around and See, okay, you know I'll map some more places out And sometimes I'll kill the bosses sometimes I won't and then I'll know like, okay, I can't head up here because there's a wall, so I'm going to head out this way. Now what's really awesome is you actually can mount up here. Which is great. Um, I haven't touched the water, which I'm assuming you can go in the water just because there's water involved in the dungeon already. And so let's see here. So if we actually try to go out this way. We're gonna die. I've already tried to go out. I did get pretty far actually using a uh, potion of slow fall So what I'm thinking is what I may need to do This is actually like another skyfall Dungeon where I'm gonna have to get past the death walls uh, Somehow flying out in a certain direction. It's just gonna take a lot of testing uh, But yeah, this is what I'll do. I'll just do this for hours on end um, and you know, sometimes I want to take breaks and I won't do it anymore. So I'll, you know, I'll just, uh, stop for a little bit and go play normal WoW and level a character or whatever. But this is what I do most of my days. I get off work and when I spend time on the computer, uh, playing WoW, this is what I do as I get prepared for the YouTube channels. And, um, I, uh, just spend time trying to look for other OBs and content for you guys. Um, and this it just takes work it takes time it takes work uh, it takes research and Sometimes I don't always find things right away other times I do and uh, It just takes a moment to find some of these things 
so I'll show you guys an example here. Um, if I turn on the stinky bright potion, you should be able to see there was a city poking up in the distance over here behind the mountain. I don't remember where I saw it, but I'm assuming there is Bor Boralus out there in the back. And that's where I actually want to get to. Uh, but I haven't, you know, I haven't made my way yet because I keep, <laughs> I keep dying. <laughs> Everywhere has been a death wall so far where I've gone. So I'm trying to find my way around and see. What I'm thinking is that maybe what I might be able to do is go around this way. So far, oh crap. And also, we're gonna die, yeah. This is all death right here. Um. Okay, so that didn't work. I did get caught up there, which I wish I would have been able to stay because I could have put a pill down or something to get out. I'm just trying to make my way like far around in areas to see um, if I can get around to places. Uh, so far, I'm able to get out here. I'm able to get out over here. See, I already have a pillow put down. So that always makes it nice that the pillows last up to like five or six minutes. I don't remember what the cooldown is. They last a while, so I don't have to keep placing them. I can place them strategically. Or if I, the, I'll do that a lot where like if I want to backtrack and I die, I can just place a pillow down exactly where I want it to be. And then that way I don't have to wait for a cooldown. So I'll just leave the purple pill over there and then I'll use the red and the, um, the black one somewhere else. So, so far I've gotten out here and this is it. I mean, this is just the beginning of the dungeon. But this place is like heavily guarded with walls, death walls, as you guys can see. It's not easy to break out of here. Um, what I'm going to try to do... Well, I did that one time already and it didn't work. I was going to do the slow fall potion. I think I need to get higher up, though. Oh, look at that. There's a uh, the cube out there in the distance. Huh. Because it hasn't loaded in. You can see way out in the distance, there's a, uh, one of those, um, pink cubes. <laughs> That's funny. It was hidden under the rock here, but it actually, it unloaded because the texture loaded over it. Um, that's funny to see. So I can get over here and that's where I was originally. So maybe what I'm going to try to do is actually, I'm going to try to come out here, which I can, I'm going to make it, but. What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to come up here. And, uh, there's a trick you guys can do that actually Hero showed me. Um, is using the slow fall potions to get a lot farther than you're supposed to. So if you actually do this, and then you pop a slow fall potion, you can do fell rush, fell rush. And venture retreat to gain some height. But the problem is, when you do this, I keep dying. Um... Yep, see, there's the death wall right there. And you can see Boralus just way in the distance there. So the city is there, and that's what I want to get to. <laughs> uh, so the, I, it feels like they do keep all of the uh, Voltyrus out here. So I don't know. We'll see. And so, yeah, so this is what I do. Um, if you guys wanted to just see more of kind of how I make these videos and stuff, I'll just... It, it takes a while. <laughs> Some of these videos take a lot of work to do, and uh, sometimes people don't understand the time and effort that goes into them. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of behind the scenes look at how I film and make videos. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing a OOB survival guide coming up. I want to basically just post about best toys and practices to use, things to avoid, um, things to look out for, and so uh, just to help you guys become a better OOB expert. But uh, anyways, guys, my name is Nathan. I will, as always, um, I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.